So I just finished building this Lego Lunar Rover kit. And what's amazing is that the whole thing folds up just like the original Lunar Rover because I have to fit into a small bay in the descent stage of the lunar module and then unpack on the moon. So once it was loaded down from the moon, it was unfolded like this. Then these things were put down. Then these wheels popped up and there are various latches to put into place. And there was redundancy. It could be either two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And um, once it was unpacked, amazingly, I mean, like the chairs come up and they come up out of the way, the footrests come up. And then when it's done, it has suspension system, it has four wheel steering that by the way, had to fold two different ways over and stay intact. And then it had a bunch of other things that went onto it. You had all kinds of communication gear, um, high gain, low gain antennas, television cameras that would go around the moon. You had um, a map, they didn't have Google Maps, so everything was sort of uh, uh, dead reckoning um, and paper maps, if you can believe it, and a 16 millimeter camera for capturing images, various antennas. Then you also had a whole bunch of tools and stuff in the back. And this was modeled after Apollo 17, and it turns out I have a bunch of these tools. So we'll take a peek at that, and I'll show those in the post. They carried on Apollo 17 a lunar traverse gravimeter, basically, it's something that measured local gravity in various places, as Gene Sermon would put it, they drive it around the moon and test gravity. It had a blue outer case, but inside it was all gold, gold-plated. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, there was a rake for scooping, you know, moon dirt and regolith, as it was called, to get rocks out. There was a flexible scoop, and I got one of those recently, um, that was also used for collecting rocks. And this, I had Charlie Dukes from Apollo 16, that he also used to prop himself up to lift the Muli, which was the largest moon rock collected um, in the Apollo program. And there's all kinds of tools, you know, core drill bits, axes, things of that sort. Um, and it's kind of neat that they reproduced all that in the lunar rover that uh, it looks like this when it's done. Thanks.